time goes on, you know, don't hate it. Don't hate the world for that. You know, get that idea, get that idea out of your head that we're not gonna, that people aren't gonna be here anymore. My name is Emmanuel Van der Weyra. I'm a visual artist based in Brussels, Belgium. I'm engaged in a question related to image technology uh, history. And I work through the medium of photography, film, uh, mixed media installation, uh, and objects. Before I started the project, I was very much interested about the, the media attention on uh, toward the school shooting or global catastrophe or mediatized catastrophe. So many of my work has been engaged to the choreography of disaster in the past. The project is uh, dispatched in two venues. There is uh, one film that is going to be shown at uh, Arlan Navy project is uh, The Death of K-9 Seagull. A somber scene as Palm Beach County deputies say goodbye to a K-9 partner. Three-year-old Seagull was shot and killed in the parking lot at the mall at Wellington Green. It's a movie that has been made through the use of uh, Periscope uh, live uh, streaming media. Periscope is a media used by people to uh, basically connect uh, immediately with uh, everybody possibly on Earth uh, by just uh, recording their smartphone and start to make uh, uh, sometimes very small recording, sometimes extensive discussion. Sometimes they are just killing time or asking for help or uh, being just in a, in, in a solitude uh, state. During the course of one year, I've been recording almost everything that was happening in the, in the aftermath of the Parkland shooting, so in the vicinity of Miami area. Actually, my first idea was more to, to preserve this uh, documentary material from Periscope because they are also doomed to disappear. So uh, my first uh, uh, drive was to basically uh, that this were uh, relevant material to, to have uh, an entry access, a glimpse of uh, what our reality, somehow they were precious, but they were not treated as such. What's going on? What's going on today, bro? Uh, the de demons, man. Demons? Voices. Yeah, no problem. Voices. Voice, voices and demons? Where's the voices? What the fuck? I was born 13 months after Columbine, which is, you know, the first mass shooting, or the first mass school shooting. And so this system of mass shootings is all I've ever known, and this is what I've grown up with. I heard a boom, and I thought, was that a gunshot? And everybody just started running, everybody was hiding on the tables, babies crying. But you, everybody was running around like crazy. Some people just hit the ground. We were shaking, my son was crying. <laughs> Sega was brought to the medical examiner's office as a hero, wheeled in as officers lined both sides. The, the two films question the time, of course, maybe, the, the, between the, the hyper-fragmented time of, the, of the, the, the catastrophe as it unfolds in the death of canine Sego during the course of the years, but it's almost like uh, deconstructed to the quantum level because there is so many cameras around it that you suddenly you bounce back from the, the vision of the shooter to the vision of the victim to the vision of the people commemorating to the aftermath being dealt with by the community all the way to uh, Christmas where a dog got shot, a police dog got shot uh, in a parking lot by uh, trying to stop a robber and, um, and he became a kind of, uh, of uh, Christmas uh, story on its own in the Miami area and he got celebrated like a real human would have been. So there was also this, this tension uh, and this absurdity between uh, people are dying like dogs and dogs are being celebrated like humans. So um, it's a kind of tragic comedy. So this is uh, the death of canine Sigo at Arlen Navy project. And in Botanic is uh, a film installation that I've shot in uh, Miami. The title of the film is uh, The Sky is on Fire. And it's a software that enables you from taking a, a series of pictures by turning around an object to be able to reconstruct a 3D rendering of that object. So from that, uh, I'm reconstructing uh, a landscape that seems to be frozen in time. And somehow, the idea is to reflect on the, on the memory and, uh, and the becoming of this uh, extensive uh, documentary material that we are creating every day. Basically, all our life are being recorded. Now, most of the time, events are 
um, existing in front of a camera and uh, many times they exist because of the camera and this multiplicity of these cameras are almost like recreating a, a folded reality of image um, on top of our reality and maybe that is going to be the last thing that is going to be left of us you know but yeah yeah man this is it Get that idea out of your head that we're not gonna, that people aren't gonna be here anymore. All right, it's it's not even close, man. It's not even, not even close. <laughs>